Hi, friends. Episode 18 of the Work of the Empath podcast has an official intro of natural birdsong outside my bedroom window. And that really speaks to my current state of mind. Naturalized. Rewilded. I wanted to check in now two and a half months into life without Facebook and Instagram. And the truth is the change that that has had on me is profound. It was a catalyst that created an incredible pivot. I then found myself in a highly pressurized container that was created by unacceptable outer conditions. And those unacceptable outer conditions are the unfolding of tyranny, medical tyranny, various forms of tyranny all over the planet. That's unacceptable to me. And then on the inside, I have non-negotiable inner standards non-negotiable. So it was a place of coming undone. It was this noise cancellation, and that has led me to a singular practice of embodiment. I can no longer talk about freedom or wholeness or well-being. I cannot talk, or write about it anymore. The only thing I can do is be about it. The noise cancellation led me to this deep stillness where there is unshakable peace. And as I cooperate with this form of embodiment, I am releasing toxins and traumas, and I am developing gifts and callings. I am activating dormant things. I'd like to invite you to activate something dormant within you. Can you remember two or three of your favorite childhood shows? They might have been animations, sitcoms, cartoons, or a story. Two or three of your favorite from childhood. And so this would be something that you have reviewed, watched, listened to repeatedly, multiple times. So you know it well. Recall those. Maybe even make a note of them. And then, consider them all together, the three of these cherished childhood memories, or favorite childhood art forms. What do they have in common? I was reminded recently, a couple days ago, of Gilligan's Island and Fantasy Island. I was born in 1970, that's quite a long time ago. And in the 70s, I remember growing up loving those shows. Even though I had nothing in common with them. And also um, Tarzan. Okay, those were my three. So Gilligan's Island, Fantasy Island, and Tarzan. It made me laugh because as I practiced this embodiment, which is a... It's an unreasonable commitment and dedication to live my values, just to live them. Not to beg about it, not to negotiate, just to live them, to be them and to live them. So as as I am doing that and as I am allowing that to happen, my life is taking on the shape of those very shows. As I am living into this highly pressurized container, the container of my life, 
which has these opposing forces going on. Outside is filled with things that I completely oppose and object to. And inside is this exploding force of life. And what's being created is the life of my dreams. (laughs) This is truly Phoenix rising from ash. As I revisit old paradigms, old scripts, old beliefs, and I see how they have served their purpose, and now they have to go back to the soil and make way for new purpose, which looks completely different, rather than this highly individuated life in a nice apartment in Belize City. It is morphing into off-grid living with resonant community. Completely different. I'm turning this paradigm upside down. I, all this time, have lived my life like a queen of solo. I wanted to get to this stage of hermit. And I did. And then the world changed. Or is changing. And it is required, it required me to find a new way. And what I wanted, what I'm trying to express is that this new way, it's not even a bug out plan. It's not even like a plan B or let me just try to survive. It is the very life of my dreams. What I had hoped for since childhood before I even would have the vocabulary or the exposure of geography or even no tropical climate. I'm headed right into the very thing that I fantasized about 43 years ago. This is what is hidden under the rubble of noise. Both the memory of the dream as well as the receptors to hear your way there. What is the work of the empath? For me, in a word, it is embodiment. That highly sensitive, highly perceptive creature who was already challenged by the density of this world, even before 2020. We were already overwhelmed with fatigue and overstimulation in 2019. And then 2020? You add that to the mix, I know I felt squashed like a bug. (laughs) And I want to just send out a signal of hope and reassurance that there is a way out. And I assure you, it will not be found in the noise. You are capable. You have connections. And there is creativity and courage that you can summon to redirect your life away from things that make you contract or fear or shrink. Things that negate life. There is something that you can do about it. And the plan itself is likely to be loaded with delight. This is the surprise of it all. That's why I ask you to please remember those early childhood fascinations, the things that you cherished, because that window, even though it may have been very small for many, but that window of purity and innocence, it has important information for you about your true nature, about who you really are, free of overlaid scripts and narratives of others. I want you to be well. I want you to be at ease and in ease. I want you to be healthy and well and happy. So that's basically what my platforms will be dedicated to. That's the kind of content that I will create and share with you. I'm also 
peeking my head out from my hermetically sealed jar and am offering one-on-one sessions again after a long time of having stopped that work, I am prompted to offer it again. If something like that speaks to you, you could learn more on my website at empathicwriter.com and there's a tab that says work with me. You are worthy of the deep stillness available to you. Just cancel the noise. I stand for the movement inward because that precedes the outer liberation that we seek. Please share this episode with someone you think would find value in it. Thank you so much for listening and for understanding that I share my process in support of yours. Much love. Talk soon. Be the cause and not the effect. Our thoughts and words the world reflects. This show has been brought to you by EmpathicWriter.com